Okay. I know I promised you that I wasn't going to um, read slides to you, but I'm just going to go briefly over what are independent and dependent variables. What is a variable, first of all? A variable is an object, event, idea, feeling, time period, or any other category, any other type of category you are trying to measure. And there are two types of variables, independent and dependent. An independent variable is exactly what it sounds like. It's a variable that stands alone and isn't changed by the other variables you're trying to measure. For example, someone's age might be an independent variable. Other factors such as what they eat, how much they go to school, and how much television they watch aren't going to change a person's age. In fact, when you're looking for some kind of relationship between variables, you're trying to see if the independent variable cause, causes some, type, some kind of change in the other variables or dependent variables. And we'll also refer to that as effect. A dependent variable is just like an independent variable, except that a dependent variable is exactly what it sounds like. It is something that depends on other factors. For example, a test score could be a dependent variable because it could change depending on several factors, such as how much you studied, how much sleep you got the night before you took the test, or even how hungry you were when you took the test. Usually, when you're looking for a relationship between two things, you are trying to find out what makes the dependent variable change the way it does. Many people have trouble remembering which is the independent variable and which is the dependent variable. But an easy way to remember this is to insert the names of the two variables you are using in this sentence in the way that makes the most sense. Then you can figure out which is the independent variable and which is the dependent variable. For example, if the independent variable causes a change in the dependent variable and it isn't possible that the dependent variable cause a change in the independent variable. Let me focus, let you suck this slide in for a minute. You might want to pause right here. This, if I were you, I would write this down, take notes. This is going to really help you in the future to make sense out of all things uh, social work 300 computer science, I mean computer applications. Time spent studying causes a change in test scores. And it isn't possible that the test score could cause a change in the time spent studying. So now you see that time spent studying must be the independent variable and test score must be the dependent variable because the sentence doesn't make sense the other way around. Now, there are a lot of other ways, a lot of other textbooks that might explain this to you pretty much in the same way. But I've tried to break it down and make it very simple for you to understand. Um, but of course, as always, if you have questions, feel free to ask.